نحمده ونسلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما دي أبرز أن سستز الإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته إن شاء الله today I will be talking about the holy month of Rajab and the benefits and the mercy of Allah سبحانه وتعالى within this month Many of you will know that we have entered the holy month of Rajab and it is not very long before the holy month of Ramadan will fall upon us as well. So inshallah, as we prepare ourselves closer to Ramadan, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the tawfiq to increase in ibadah. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all gives me and everybody else the tawfiq to keep the rosa that are recommended to be kept in this holy month so in a hadith rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam says that rajab is the holy month of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sha'ban is my month i.e sha'ban is the month of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and ramadan is the month of my people rajab is not only the name of the month which we are currently in, but is also the name of a river within paradise, which is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. In this month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doubles the rewards of every person's good deeds. Whoever fasts for even one single day in this holy month of Rajab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow him to drink from that river, i.e. the river named Rajab, in Jannah. So whoever fasts for even one day in this holy month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah, in Jannah, he will allow him to uh, uh, drink from the river which is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. Whoever fasts for seven days in this holy month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will close the seven doors of hell fire for him. I.e. whoever fasts for seven days, the seven doors of the Jahannam they will be closed for this person. There are many important days within this holy month of Rajab. One, for example, is the date of the Yawmi Wisal of Uwaisa Karani radiallahu ta'ala. And also, there's the Urs of Khwaja Mu'inuddin Chishti Khwaja Garib Nawaz, which uh, just went last week. And as well as this, there's the Wisal of Sayyidina Salman Farsi radiallahu an. And of course, the Yawmi Wiladat of Sayyiduna Mawla Ali Al Murtada radiallahu ta'ala an. As well as many more within this month, the main one is the 27th of Rajab, which will approximately be the 10th of March this year. And this is the night of Asra al Isra wal Mi'raj, the beautiful journey that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invited the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on to meet him and see more of his creation, including the beautiful heavens and also the hellfire. It was also on this very night that the gift of Salah was presented to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inshallah, we will talk more about the rest of the virtues um, regarding uh, the night of Mi'raj and the, what actually happened on that journey. We will talk about that further in the video before um, or closer to the time, Inshallah. So, uh, in general, there are many benefits to the month of Rajab. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all doubles the reward of every person's good deeds in this month and secondly this is the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Shaban is the month of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, Ramzan is the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's people in this month if a person fasts for one day then he will be able to drink from the river of Rajab in Jannah and if he fasts for seven days then inshallah ta'ala with the will of Allah uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will close the seven doors of the hellfire for him so I pray again that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all gives me the tawfiq to act upon what I've said and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us all the blessings and the barakah of this holy month and allows us all to prepare ourselves for the holy month of Ramadan وما علينا إلا البلاغ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته